Join live. But yeah, how's everyone doing, by the way, boys? I hope everyone's doing well. But yeah, what do you mean the, uh, the, the pacing's a bit weird, Sneaky? What about the pacing's odd? Also, hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, today, we're going to be playing some Man Lords. So this is an, an absolutely new game. Some consider it the killer of Total War. And to that, I'm still very much um, waiting to see kind of how it plays. We have a relatively um, played-in save. We've only played um, about an hour in this save or so because there's a lot of early game things that take a long time. But right now we've got the we uh, the fields with the wheat in it, so you can see we've got families associated with them. We currently have five um, families that aren't actually attached to anything. Uh, they, they don't have any sort of uh, job just yet, so we want to make sure that we are building things up where possible. Uh, we do have a wooden church that we're trying to get some clay going. Uh, as you can see, basically one of the one of the TLDRs is that you need uh, Burridge, Burgorge plots to put people in. And then once you get more families and more, more population, you have access to do more things. We do have a militia. We've got a militia of 20 spearmen. So if any bandits or anything like that come on, on their way. Like for example here, we have raiders nearby. So if we need to ensure that we're defending against that, the camp in question is really far away again. I mean, there is a reasonable thing that we could do. We could send over um, my feud. I suppose that you'd call it a feud. Uh, but right now, what we have is the plots, which are plot level two with some vegetable gardens in there. And we're going to be continuously keep on building where we can. One of the main things right now is you're going to always focus on ensuring you have sustainability because of the fact that there's a lot of stuff going on, you know, as part of expanding your provinces and as part of expanding in general. You know, you're going to be putting in yourself. You're going to be putting yourself in a situation where you are actually, um, you know, yielding too much resources, and you're struggling to maintain the population. Battle that you're actually Seven trying to have. BTLC love. Yo, Linux, much love to you, mate. Thanks for the tier two for 36 months, man. I think you're my longest subscriber, or one of my longest subscribers, Linux. Appreciate you, buddy. Uh, so right now, what we want to do is go ahead and build up the smithy, the clay furnaces, and things like that. Because as an overview to this game, one of the main factors is you need approval. So your peasants need to like you, and then as part of having a high approval, you'll get population increasing. As part of doing that, you need to make sure there's living spaces for them. And as part of this, you can then assign them to a specific job. As you can see here, we have a forager hut, which we've assigned three families to it. Because we're, our objective there is to ensure that we're able to actually uh, farm as much uh, berries here as possible. Because right now, we actually over-farmed, I would say, with the hunting camp, and so the uh, node that's nearby, which is the wild animals here, is only 5 out of 20. So I want that to recover first. And you can see the berry deposit is still a rich deposit. So it's actually growing uh, due to the fact that it's a seasonal uh, thing. So I'm actually going to put 4 in there. Uh, because of the fact that we'll probably be alright there. Uh, so we also uh, are in a situation where we've got a few lords nearby. I felt it was applicable to be a bold guy uh, with my character. Is there a graveyard or anything? There is indeed graveyards. Um, so yeah, actually, let me do, uh, let me do something as well. that so yeah basically there's a fair few hey what a wise is the game out now no this is early access that's a really good point i should probably put that in the title uh it's a very valid point i should probably put that in the live stream title thank you my friend as it's out in like four days no it's out in 14 days or 13 now so right in a situation we're in uh, we want to make sure that we're building and gaining from the iron deposit still. Uh, I think we had a relatively large amount of storage in here. We have a lot of iron ore. Uh, we just probably get some priority on going with the smithies here. Uh, it looks so good. Otherwise, yeah, the game is so far, I'm very, very, uh, very, very much liking it. I think they've done a great job. Let's get these some high priorities because we've got three families moving around. The plots I'm not too bothered about because we need to increase our approval rating. Uh, which we're doing by having a marketplace here. The more diverse things you have available for the marketplace, uh, the more your folks like it. How much will it be when it comes out? I actually don't know the answer to that. Uh, I would hope it will be like 20, 30 pounds, I would assume. But for that, I don't know. Uh, I could probably ask uh, the wonderful hooded horse folks to find out, but I don't think the game's going to be particularly crazy expensive. But uh, keep in mind, the game's developed by one person. It's just one dude making this game. And I have followed... Uh, and watched everything that they've done and been so unbelievably excited about all, everything that they're doing. 
So, production of tools and spearmen and armaments. We might want to actually have a double plotage here. Have one of them as the armorer, and then we're going to have another one as the uh, weaponsmith once we have a little bit more tax, because we want to make sure that we've got weapons and armors. Uh, wait, do we have shields here? Where's the one for the shields? Oh, enhanced armory, okay. What a chance this game. Yeah, one ar one person has done this for seven or so years, right? If I'm not mistaken. Uh, oh, here we go. Production of wooden parts and shields. So maybe it's the joiner's place that we'd have to make shields there, but we would need tools for weaponry as well. I guess armor is honestly, the workshop is not, not that useful. Uh, in truth, uh, not that useful. Let's make sure things uh, are moving faster then. And Linux, everything's all right, matey. Appreciate you, buddy. And you're a stay-at-home dad. Jay, that's awesome. I love that. Yeah, my boss um, uh, is this, like the uh, the breadwinner, I think is the terminology. She goes to work and uh, the husband's a stay-at-home dad. I love that. I, I, I think staying at home as a dad is dope. I'd love to be a stay-at-home stay -at dad. I think it'd be dope. Right, so we need to make sure that we've got oxes and things like that. We want to upgrade the church when we get a chance, but we need clay for that. We do have two Brother, oxens currently. Uh, we actually have one that's unassigned right now, so we need to make sure there's one actually assigned to this one. So ensure that there's actually a f somebody in here. Uh, nothing stored inside. Does that mean... Wait, where's the oxen then? I'm guessing they're on the, on the way to, to be moving. So we put a well near here. Basically, we're going to have... Um, we're building this family... Oh, we're building this area specifically here to ensure that we can have a lower level family. So there's different ranks of families. You can see there's population of um, level 1, 2, and 3. The levels are determined by the plots that they live in. Wow, already there's a um, another room I sighted. Okay, gotta be careful there. Kitty from Resin Brennan Presence. Yeah, that does sound decent. So, armor shop. So here we actually have an armor shop. So production focus. Production focus is helmets, so we need iron slabs for that. Uh, okay. And thank you all for the, uh, the uh, hype train. Appreciate it. You take hair from my head. Well, it's dwindling, lads, so be quick with that. Um, so we need to make sure that we're actually getting more food, which we are, because we've gotten more people on the foraging. I do have to be careful that we don't over-forage it, but you can see we're doing all right there. New families moving in. Fantastic. That's what we're looking for. We want to make sure that we're getting more people moving in. Yeah, we really need to get over 75% if we can afford to. If we can get over 75%, then I believe the um, the growth coming through is going to be significantly higher. I want to make sure that we get more folks coming in as well. I think we can afford militia if we need to, which is mercenary. So you can see here, I can get the wayward sons if we're getting attacked by if you're anything too scary here. We can see there's heavy mercenary archers alongside light mercenary archers. So what we'll do is we'll utilize my spear militia to be a front line, ensuring that they're protected and then have the archers in the back line. But we need to make sure that we're uh, continuously keep on making everything happy. So like we mentioned, we want to make sure the clay furnace is there. We want to make sure the mining pit's getting raid. Uh, the house is being built as well. There's a lot of things here that we need to ensure that's happening. Um, it's one of the annoying things where there's just so much that you need to do and so little time to do it but you gotta be careful about all the raiders and things like that i don't know if i will um hold on so we need to so we need to we need a tavern so nice we got another family coming in we'll make sure to use and abuse them i mean we'll make sure to give them a good life you know we're here to give them a good life slash use and abuse them as much as we can as we do have two families that will be um, on, transporting timber as well. Feast your eyes on our fine selection. Feast your eyes on our fine selection. I'm assuming that if we were to make... Um... Oh, wow, well, isn't it? So, yeah, I was checking this to see if clothing would be a thing regarding weaponry, and it's not. So, yeah, good leather, fuel and leather. food variety here. So, one thing... I uh, actually was speaking to Lion about this, and he recommended that you put a... Um, we can actually upgrade this one. Uh, he recommended to put in uh, chickens, if possible. Which makes sense, because then we can get eggs, which is then another variety of food, which would make them even happier as well. Um, so all of that would make sense. We're still in the process of just ensuring that these guys are doing their own thing. We're getting the smithy doing, we're getting the clay furnace going, and we're getting the mining pit going as well. 
Uh, we just need a few more families. Uh, I'm just trying to remember if there's a, like an overview for the families. Ooh, this is heavier than it looks. I don't believe there is. I love the I love that the settings are right here as well. I really like that. I really do like the way that the UIs works. So, what is it here? An emblem's craft mail armor, which can be equipped. Uh, citizens, what, what, three and above, or promoting new retinue. I can't do that just yet. Yeah, so, yeah, we have. After unlocking the advanced armor, I think. Oh, so it has to be here. So it'd be plate armor as well. So we'll need another one for shields and weaponry. So we need three, technically. It means, for me, that makes it so, like, the, uh, the helmet's less useful then. Uh, yeah. I feel like the helmet's a little bit less useful. So, yeah, when it freezes, don't worry, boys. Uh, it just is saving. No need to, uh, to panic. It is just saving is all. Let me see how loud this is. Okay, it's pretty loud. What I don't know is what the church does. I don't know if that makes then makes all my guys go to the church. Oh, shoot. I think it does. Oh, maybe not. I don't want... Um, yeah, I don't want people messing around there. So we've got fuel for seven months. Uh, do you have a river to fish in? No, we actually have really slim pickings from a terrain perspective here. Uh, like a really slim pickings. The area I spawned in, I don't think it's very good, if I'm honest. That's not me trying to be like copium, that's just me being honest. Yeah, I, I think the area that we spawned in was not, not the best. Needs to be conquering. Yeah, we need to... Ideally, we'll conquer this side over this way. Uh, we have some bandits over that way. We could send the band over uh, to deal with the bandits, but as part of doing that, it would then make it so that I would have less folks to work on my settlements. But it's like dwarves mining and making armor and trading those for food. But otherwise, it wouldn't surprise me if that's the case. Wouldn't surprise me if that's something you could do. This is level three. Wait, how do I add in... Just need to make sure that we're doing all right. Because, yeah, we need some church stuff going. As you can see, we have things that are really high priority, so... Let's try and figure out what's blocking us. I might make this to chicken, actually. Ooh, brewery extension. It produces ale from malt. I'm assuming you need to plant malt, then. I would assume that's something we, need, we would need a plant. If we go ahead and look at farming. Barley, wheat. Ah, oh, can we not make wool? So we can make wheat, flax, and that. Another one was sighted. That makes me a little bit worried. Bandits for hire. Awaiting orders. They are... Oh, shoot. Bandit camp. Okay, so that's... I think we found where this guy lives then. Ooh, he's sending in... These brigands are really close quarters. So he's sending brigands over to deal with the mercenaries, it looks like. Well, the seemingly the mercenaries... Uh, the camp's empty. We also have brigands over here as well. Oh, wow, some fighting's gone over here. Nice, so the smithy's finished. We're going to need to dedicate a family to that, but we'll have to wait. Yo, hey, chat. What's up, buddy? Have to be careful. I'm doing well. How are you? Uh, let's be smart about the decision-making here. I really need to start getting conquesting going, but we, we don't have the army. We don't have the sustainability of our equipment just yet. I just need to get over that hump of 75%. So, goat shed. Passive yield. Ooh, apples as well would be nice. Yeah, I think I need chicken. It's going to take a wee while because obviously the regional wealth is, is quite low from a regeneration perspective because we don't have very many plots level 2. I feel like we should have more families. Maybe we do less foraging? No, I feel like it's kind of critical to do more foraging. We all know what that means, huh? Let me see what we don't necessarily might not need. Because we've got a good amount of food. We have a lot of planks, honestly. What does planks? Is saw pit for planks? Is the saw pit planks? It is. We can probably stop people doing that for now. 
as I think we're good for... Because, yeah, it's not even fuel. Yeah, so we have another family going to go building. You love this game? Yeah, the game so far, I've been really enjoying it. Is that the uh, box? No, it's the storehouse. You're storing... Seemingly, I think you're storing all the iron and stuff and the stone. Really would love the clay furnace going up. <clears throat> Requires refueling, so let's just increase the fuel reserves. As you deserve it. Now nah, let's go to like six. Because I do need to start getting... Um, yeah, I need to start getting iron cooked up. Same for the... Uh, same for... Getting the clay done. With it being like the lowest... You'd, you'd have assumed a family would have come over here and started doing something. But maybe uh, my problem right now is the fact that we've moved too far away. Like, we've we've put a lot of our infrastructure away from where our main area is. And that might be detrimental for us. Do you know how to export materials from one location to another? Not just yet, no. I would imagine it would be probably with the trading post. You just trade it between your networks. Because you can have multiple different networks to do so. Uh, potentially some form of trade agreement. And the music is incredible. It's giving me uh, like Rome Tour War vibes, kind of level of good music. Very nice. So the, we're actually getting stuff built now, which is good. Annoyingly, I really want a mining pit here. Uh, let's make sure the storage house. Damn it, we need to upgrade that as well. Because yeah, a lot of the flanks and everything came over here as well. I'm actually going to upgrade that. We'll get everything moving over. So, ox handler. Yeah, unfortunately, if they're going to take some rest here, I'm not vibing with that. We need to use and abuse them, lads. Oh, here we go. Here's the ox traveling with the wood. Come on, lady. Come on. Um, the plot's half done. I'm assuming since we've put a priority on this furnace, it's probably becoming a bit, uh, yeah. Turn down the game? Yeah, of course I can. I can turn the game a touch. Yeah, well, I hope you could see it. Yeah, we start getting clay for that. Because right now we don't have... We've got... We don't have any administration buildings. Which we're going to need to put in there. But we have no... Yeah, we don't have a small village. Wait, does it allow me to put it in? Oh, you can build it no matter what. Wait, hold on. Welcome to Castle Planner. The, this work is the progress feature. He can edit the layout of your castle and plan the construction of your new wings and towers. When you can... Commit, uh, when you press commit, the old layout will disappear and the new ones will be, uh, the cost is all fixed. Oh, wow, okay. So I'll probably want to build this into a really good spot then. I didn't realize, I thought you had to build it, I, I thought you had to have a small village first, but evidently not. We have the resources we need. Limit reach. Looks like I can't build there. I feel like I'd almost want it centralized, but I haven't I haven't built accordingly to that. Oh, limit reach because it's actually building it. Oh, I'm an idiot. It's already put it down. I think if I demolish it's not gonna consume the resources. And yeah, absolutely I will, matey, absolutely. Absolutely I will. Would it be good putting it here? You'll not find finer wares anywhere else. This is going to be a, a learning curve, I'll tell you that for free. This will be a learning experience to see where this is best placed. I think being around places is okay. Wait, so walls and gates. Too far from other nodes, other modules. Interesting. So you kind of want it to be on its little on its own almost. Out of tower, adds garrison space. Wow, that's kind of nuts. But I mean, the graphics are good. Yeah, the graphics are fantastic. I agree. Mate, I almost want to build. I wish I could move these plots somewhere else. Maybe I move the logging camp. Yeah, I actually don't hate the idea of that. Move the logging camp there. And then chuck this here. In a nice centralized location to the to the homestead. 
uh, chuck a nice tower here just in case. I mean, I feel like the main purpose of this will just be to ensure that we're defending um, the settlement. I really like that. Wait, I can kind of put them within this, this sphere of influence here. Gates are created automatically when a wall is placed over the road. Every gate adds one tenth of the construction cost. Alright, let's do this then. Let's just commit it for now. Come along, lad. Right, I actually love the music. It's so good. So what I want to do is make sure that we're getting more families in here. One of the big things we need to do as well, we should have more plots. We have three plots to let them live in here. We need a bit of food variety. Uh, we'll also in the city where the wall's going to be. I don't have a lot of timber just yet. I think you can build at any point, if I'm not mistaken. I suspect I can then build... Yeah, I would imagine I'm able to build wherever, whenever I want. Like, build on top of it. But maybe not. If I'm not, then that's definitely a learning curve. If not, then we'll uh, we'll have to revisit it. Then I'm sure the game. Ah, we're learning together, my friend. We're learning together. We are learning together. Hey, Gaster. Good to see you, handsome. Get rid of that one. Bugger, we need chicken coop. All right, we'll wait for chickens. We'll wait for the box. box. Um, has the banditry been dealt with? It has, actually. So far, loving it, my friend. Oh, wow, we're really slamming the, uh, the berries. We're absolutely slamming the berries. We really need to get a uh, better network over here. Good value to export is a work in progress. Yeah, maybe you don't. You, you can't do it just yet. And Jester, if I'm not mistaken, it comes out... Um, 26th of April. 12 days. So, that's the link, my friend. Right. All right, we're getting close to better approval here. I just need a better variety. Once we've got a, a month go by, we can then use the tax to then build some chicken here. Because that's the one food variety we're actually lacking. We only have berries and vegetables. We don't have any meat. Because we need to make... Sh we need to wait until this has recovered the wild animals. But we are absolutely hammering the berries. I'm going to drop them down to two people. Because that should be enough to sustain us. Uh, so close. To, to, so close. Seamless. Add. Nice, yeah. Highly recommend it. Much love, Gaston. Highly recommend it, lad. So we actually do have uh, Smithy going, it looks like. But yeah, the uh, storage needs to be built still. Ah, oh, it's going to take a wee while to bring all the uh, the planks over and the timber. I suppose that's one thing I'm not really accounting for. Because any every time, yeah, you got one fella bringing timber over. Since everything's built so far away. Let me just see if one of the timbers that we're seeing the ox bring over is actually one. Oh, it is one. So yeah, building quite far away was not a good idea. Nice, 76%. Huge. Which means now the growth uh, potential is significantly higher. We are going to have more families just vibing out. But we do, by doing this, it makes it so that uh, there's more mouths to feed, right? There's absolutely way more mouths to feed. Uh, but I think it's worth it. I think the sustainability from the berries, hopefully the growing is going to happen. Damn it, seasonal. Since we're in August now, and we're not in spring, it's not growing anymore. I should have really battered that when I had the chance. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to get into position for that accordingly. Mercenary company is available, but we don't necessarily need it. Prepare for the attack. We've got raiders coming in 180 turns. I'm assuming we're going to need to make some mercenaries there, because, yeah, we definitely are not prepared for that. So it'll probably be mercenaries that get us through that. We've got uh, wheat being yielded. We might want to throw in some bread production there. 
Do you know what? Let me throw in a family with hunting camp now. Because we want to get leather on the go as well for the market supply. Because yeah, you can see here we've got loads of leather in the marketplace for people to get. Uh, is there any anything that can like... Production of shoes. Impossible. I think we go with chicken coop for now. Uh, let me put it up to the highest. Oh wow, that was really fast. Nice, now we've got the chicken coop yield. So that should help. Yeah, because we got a very bland food variety now. So we need to make sure to uh, do what we can there. I think what we want to do as well is... Once this play furnace is being ready to go... Yeah, we've almost gotten the large style house. Yeah, I definitely think it's a mistake on my end. I should have kept everything over here. I should have cleared out, a, like, a, a bit more of an area. Uh, that would have been smarter. Let's get somebody in the forest just as well. Yeah, I definitely think that would have been smarter. So we're coming, we're closing in towards winter. Um, we got nine months and 11 months. I think if we sustain this, we should be okay through winter. I think we're going to be okay. Raiders coming, buy more chicken, seems legit. Trust me. It's 101 right there. Gassed up, 101. Carry this alone, you know. Cock fighting. They, uh, they'll be fine. You know what I mean? Any, any soldier you can get is a soldier you can get. This is heavier than it looks. Uh, but now we need to make sure that we've got food variety, lad. Because right now we have a very, very, very low food variety, and these guys aren't happy with it. Just need to make sure that we've uh, have more sustainability with that. Because right now, there's very few folks that can do uh, food that's not just berries. We're trying to get meat in there as well with the hunting camp, but we've capped them out to seven. But we do have tech that makes it so we should be able to uh, obtain passive meat uh, through uh, these. So we double the amount of meat harvested by hunters and butchers from go uh, and from the goat pens. So we might be able to get some goat pens under the go as well. So we're two away now from the large storehouse, which is one of the one of the critical elements. The storehouse will be able to maintain a ton of things in it. I definitely do regret building, like I said, for far away from each other, but I think if you know exactly what you're doing, you can probably relatively quickly uh, snowball pretty fast. I, so I've never actually experienced what the Raiders Near is like. Uh, so we'll have to wait and see. Also, uh, HR, thanks for the follow, by the way, earlier. Appreciate it, lad. I haven't experienced what it's like to fight against, um... Wait, have we got a zero percent? Oh, it's barley! So yeah, let's let's start planting barley when we get a chance. So it's barley that turns into malt. That was me just being dumb. Yeah, once that last one comes over, I'll be a happy bunny. Because they can actually store... So, as part of having, like, a pit, like a mining pit, they are able to store... Uh, said resources within their own area for a little bit of it. Like you can see here, um, three out of 50. So if you have no storage area, you can still mine them, but make sure you build your storage up as soon as you can. You know, otherwise you'll just be um, indebted to the uh, thing and you won't be able to mine anymore. Yeah, nice, we're getting food already, which is huge. So yeah, hides and meat, which is great. We do have... Uh, a tannery. So these guys are doing their uh, the thing. Come one, come all. Feast your uh, and then if you have a little look, ski. Oh yeah, bar connection only to send and receive goods between this and another region in your command. Oh, there you go. So, uh, Mr. Nippam, I'm not sure if it was you that asked, but this is how you do it. Pack stations. You have a bar connection with uh, mules. Boom. The life and soul will be blessed. Honestly, you're not wrong, matey. You're not wrong at all. I am really garbage at all things like that. It is something that I intend on getting better at. Uh, what I should have done is like had all my everything like built like this and built a little bit better. So church levels plus four. Wow. Nice. We've got some food variety of eggs in there now, which is huge. And uh, the great thing is we've got the uh, large storehouse. Look at this. 2,500 now. Which is insane. So we have clay now, we've got iron ore. So Smithy 
I mean, if I'm not mistaken, we should be putting... We should be putting iron in there, no? That's what the smithy does, isn't it? Industry. Wait, what the hell does a smithy do? Oh my god, I'm an idiot. You need a bloomery first. Well. That's what you call being very tired last time I played and didn't think about it. I needed to have... I, need to, I, I don't care about a smithy. Let's not fuel it at all. We don't need to fuel the smithy. We've got nothing to use it. Ooh, one thing I do want to check on is the... Uh, how far along we are for the mana. Um, let me get that on very high. Thankfully, we have a lot of food because of the fact that we're uh, hunting again. We want to be a little bit careful. Stone colors is fine. Clay fence is getting there because we do have a wee bit of clay. Because uh, of these beautiful buggers over this side. So, if we, once this clay gets built, uh, what we'll do then is uh, put a family in there uh, and ensure we can actually get ourselves some from clay, which then means we can upgrade the church to a small stone church, which is nice. And then as part of doing that, uh, we can then start looking into the, the ale. So putting barley in there, hopefully we'll be able to get some uh, ale. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I need to figure out best ways of building. I think it's such a core mechanic when it comes to these games, is making sure you're building to the best of your ability. Yeah, the only problem now that I'm thinking... The more and more I review my own land, the more and more I'm like, yeah, this is just making it really difficult for my guys to do stuff. Clothing is dyes part of the clothing? No, shoes are though. Ah, fine selection. Of that I don't doubt, my dear. Of that I don't doubt. Yeah, I think I messed up by building really far away from each other. You love me a lot, my boys. You do the living, you do the learning. Yeah, we've absolutely roasted that very deposit. It'll come back in spring. Way to conquer this. Is... You can customize each soldier in your retinue? That's dope. Wait, how'd you do that? Oh, shoot. I just best abandoned my spear militia. Oh, there you go. Equipment's missing. Yeah, so it's apparently you're supposed to have 36. So we got raiders coming in. So hopefully that's not going to knock us out. We'll see. Uh, we don't have malt just yet. We could get war bows. Or we can get some shoes. The Lord Retinue for the manor, I think. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Makes sense. I mean, how do I make shoes? I mean, you're saying I make shoes there. How would this ones make the couple of shop? Because shoes will help a lot. It seems that you need to find a really good balance between everything, because these plots here hard carried my food production early on. Work area is empty. Oh, yeah, shoot. Thank you. Double that, no need. Because my main goal here today is to try and get to the point where I'm able to test out some high tier stuff. Like test out some of the later on things and then what we'll then do is do another playthrough where we've like min maxed it, right? I'm curious to see how, how big these, how big of a retinue the raiders are going to be. Should I should probably put this to the very highest um, priority because if we can get a mana in there. Because we have, uh, we're going to be having a tower in there too, no? So we have Cobbler's Shop is finished now. Fantastic. So hopefully we're going to be making some shoes. Uh, what I'll have to rely on for sure is um, the peasants, honestly. The, uh, excuse me, the um, winter's approaching. So I think after the winter is when the raid is going to be coming near. How expensive are mercenaries right now? Not crazy expensive. Probably what I want to do is... Uh, I would imagine the Wayward Sons and then maybe the Battle Brothers. Treasury cost is quite a lot. But each month of service is a lot. That's, a, that's three months only. Hopefully it gives me a little bit of a warning when that's going to happen. 
and I don't just get absolutely battered without being able to protect myself. But now I'm getting to the point where I'm figuring out the best ways of doing stuff, which is nice. Nice, we made a clothing stall, which will make the marketplace very happy. You can see here, clothing. Yeah, shoes coming through, hopefully. There's not hours in a day to do that. Yeah, 100%. It would take a long time, right? All right, with this being the highest priority, hopefully the families that are, that are now spare should be able to do that. Once this ticks above 76%, that's when it really scales up. That's when it gets the... That's when it gets really fast. So I just need one person to build this, but I think since I've put highest priority over this side, I want them to build the mana before we get raided. I mean, the good news is we've learned an awful lot. We know what priority things are now. We know that it's important to get a market stall, market down very quickly because I really impacted my overall ability to get people. You want to really start putting down as many of these uh, bur burgage plots as you can. And then um, make sure you're building everything very close together. Because like, look, at, like this is not very efficient, right? And yeah, it's crazy that the timber requires one ox per timber, right? So wherever the ox has to go, they have to go pick it up and put it there. But the good news is, all the timber is literally here. The timber that is required is from there to there. But I don't know if the I don't know if the ox will take it from here. Probably not. Manor is on its way. One thing we're going to be learning, boys, is if you can get away with building the manor and not building any walls to begin with. And then building the walls afterwards. I assume that will be possible. But all in the name of science, my friends. All in the name of science. Yeah, it's annoying that we don't have any spears still. Because we need the uh, iron going as well, don't we? We have a ton of iron ore. Ooh, brewery. Uh, bloomery, excuse me. Let's get five in there. So let's actually get somebody working in there now. I'm going to assume, with this being the highest priority, with the fact that the plank is here, the timber's really close by, and the stone should be relatively close by. Vegetables. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have any uh, stone in here, though. Wait, why have we got so much clay in here? We've got 74 clay in there. Almost seems worthwhile moving the clay furnace, then. The clay mine's here. A really rich deposit, too. Wait, is the ox yoinking it from there? Guiding an ox. Wait, you're gathering? What are you guys gathering? Where are you guys going? Wait, you're picking the timber up from the trees instead of picking the timber up from this pile. I'm assuming that's just something I could probably tell them to do properly. We have a tower building being built up as well. Look at this. Look, look at the green here. You can see that it's so much better now. Like, the, appro the approval going over 75% is huge. And that's most likely the eggs. Wait, there's no eggs. Yeah, the chicken cube is good. Making two villages? No, we're making a main village over here. This is going to be like my industrial area, but it's sort of not working out well. My idea was to make this, this bit the more residential, this bit more the industrial, but... Because the nodes where they spawned, and like the mining pit and the clay pit and things like that, are we bit far away, which is my only issue right now. So yeah, I'm making people do a lot more than they need to, basically, which is not good, right? Not a good thing. Because we need iron, honestly. Iron is a, a big critical factor right now. And we are refueled. So, gathering supplies. Show workplace. Show home. Yeah, maybe we would need a different family. Maybe a family that lives nearby. Who's the family in here? 
Peter, Peter and Agnes. He's an ox handler. Is he now? The man that handles the oxes. I see. He is known as the man who handles the oxes. Welcome to town, St. Lords. Yes, I'm Diggle. Good to see you, lad. Indeed. Yes, yeah, so yeah, transporting firewood. So we're one stone off. We're getting there. I'm going to be very curious to see how well this raid happens. Or what happens during. Resource-wise, we've done a good job. I'm very happy with from a resource perspective. Once the mana gets built, we can then figure out what we need to do. Seemed applicable to have it in the middle of the territory. So we want to like have universe. I think it'd be sick if they did. So we got oh yeah, we've got herbs, don't we? So we have grain, so technically we could get some bread. I just want to make sure my mana gets finished first. We need to have four more timber. I wish I could like make someone specifically take from these supplies here. Or put the supplies the start because these supplies may get diminished. Yeah, don't worry when it freezes like that. It just is. Um, it's doing its thing. It's saving. So we're three away, timber wise. Raids in 88 turns. How long is this? Is this is this days? Probably not days, right? Is it weeks? Not sure yet. If there's any mercenaries nearby, it would be a good idea for me to beat them up. But the ruler that's over here, there's a ruler that lives around this area, I'm pretty sure. There's somewhere in here. He has taken most of the mercenaries out. Every fight we've done against them thus far, we've taken zero casualties, so... Hmm. Two more timber away from the mana being built. I'm going to be very happy with. Cobbler shop. Does he, do you have the resources you need? You have four supplies, timber, and leather. Why do you have four shields and spears in there? If that's a case, that's a, a question you just don't ask. Right, nice. We actually have seven slabs. Wait, I think we're making helmets. What are we using them for? Yeah, we're making helmets, boys. We're cooking! Helmets are being made! Huzzah! My guys are actually getting geared. Nice! We're actually giving them helmets now. Okay! They're getting actually geared. Beautiful. Taxation. Ooh, perfect! We can tax the burgers. Click on the taxes tab after selecting your mana to set the level of taxation. Taxes can boost your treasury and influence at the cost of making other people poorer. Keep them poor, that's what I say. Keep them poor. Nice, mana's done. Open the castle planner. Oh yeah, you can do it at any time. Good. So we have a garrison tower. We have a tax office, but that is currently... Yeah, it's currently a cosmetic only. So we have walls and gates. So I need to figure out best ways of doing this. Oh yeah, the garrison's pretty tasty. I'm assuming I want at least one garrison tower. Build that bad boy there when possible. But uh, do I have to commit to it? Oh no, it's being built. Okay, nice. Razor near. We'll probably want to make sure it's so a taxes tab, land tax. Percentage of surplus food that is given to the church in return for influence. Prediction approval loss. Minus seven, Jesus. Wait, hold on. Percentage of surplus food that is given to the church in return for influence. I don't even know, I'm not even sure what my influence is. Well, hold off for now, hold off for now, hold off for now. 
Matt raised for regional wealth to cover hiring of Mercer companies. Won't cause loss of approval as long as Mercer is... Oh. I think we've just crafted something. Okay. Play thingy now. We need to do that. You can build stone walls, giving stronger hull vibes. Yeah, you can build stone walls, right? Have you marked the choice for the rafters already? It's going to be in here. Wait, how do you know I've got 819 plants? Oh, of course you do. I do, yeah, here. Legend. Yeah, I need to use it to press a claim. So I'm actually going to do that then. We go to taxes. I'm going to use 10% of the food that we have spare for the church for influence and see how that goes. Because what I would love to do... Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, I've got a retinue! Lads, I've got a retinue! We're getting a retinue created as part of having the mana. Oh, it's the boys. It's the boys. So these guys, these guys are going to be probably badasses, right? Retinue customization. Here we go. Here's the lads. Look at that helmet. So upgrade armor, import. Pay the full price to import the set of armor for this retainer. Do you want to deck him out? Are these wait are these all five of my lads? Bray betrayed his former lord. Bruh, why have I got this guy in my army then? Forces on weapons, betrayed his former lord. My dudes, you're telling me two of them have betrayed their former lords. Right. The first person to type uh mana lord is awesome can be named in the retinue. Man Lord is awesome. And I will name you. Boom. Okay, simple as that. Ooh, that is being nearby. Hold on. So we go to the retinue planet. You're awesome? You are, but don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Um, come on then. It's feeder. Soon not fade feeder. Right. Wait, you didn't say that. Okay. Some of you may die, but that is a sacrifice I'm willing to make. OBG, I'll get you next time, buddy. I'll probably ask for other people to be named as well. And you're telling me that it's worthwhile buying the armor, is it? Holy crap, this guy's a chad now. I have just pimped you out with some swag gear, man. Holy! It's probably worth swagging out everybody. These guys actually have reasonably decent armor now. The king vibes? What, is that the Scottish king? How do I increase my retinue? How do I increase the size of it? Oh, it's locked. Oh, interesting. Recruit minstrels. Uh, promote one of your citizens to your retinue. Interesting. You can start, you, you actually, actually can use your citizens to make them in the retinue. Wow, it costs 50 to make one of these. I got a few of you. Yeah, we've got eight now. Oh, I've got to build the tower. No, I meant how do I gain them? I'm assuming it's just by paying for them. What I would love to know is if this is going to be sufficient. Hold on, let me raise this army. Where's the um, banditry? That's bloody ages away. Guys, yeah, do you think 73? Do you think I can move my guys over there to the banditry? Do you think I, do you think I can move them over here, move them back in 73 turns? Do you think that's possible? I think it's probably possible, right? Surely it's possible. So I want to go kill the banditry over there so I can hire more. Because they'll have money on them. It's a shame they don't spawn nearby. Rally points. I mean, we are sending them off in winter, though. 
All right, boys. Time to rally. Gather your men. It's time for war. War is upon us. Here they are. Oh, they're going to their houses and picking up their shields. That's actually kind of sick. I'm not gonna lie. Come on, lads. This is the spear militia. This is the militia that's res responsible for ensuring the land is safe. Okay, boys. Pick up the pace. Yes, sire. With haste, my friends. With haste. Right, what I'll do is we'll ensure that they um, rest before we start fighting. Wait, hold on. This port. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. How are you, why, why are you guys annoyed? Wait, what, what do you want? Tavern supply. Oh. Uh, fuel stall supply. Approval will fail if it's not fulfilled. Oh, shoot. I think that's because I stopped doing fuel. Whoopsie poopsie. Where is it? I think I got to the point where I had so much fuel that I was like, do you know what? Screw it. Yeah, it was this one. Right, there we go. Sorry about the lads. My apologies for the inconvenience there, my friends. Unassigned families need for construction works. Crap. With me moving out, it's really hindered my ability to start crafting things and do things. Uh, farmhouse, you can jog off. You can jog on. You're absolutely doing nothing there. Right, we'll need to make sure to meet the peasants head on. Or the uh, bandits head on there. We've got a reasonably decent uh, retinue at least. Because uh, I want to go kill these uh, mercenaries over there. Uh, start chilling out a little bit more. And we'll buy them to increase the cap there. Uh, hopefully the raid is not going to be too bad. Because I'm going to be using the treasury we gain from uh, killing these bandits. Hopefully. Okay, the bandits are over there. Let's grab these folks and chuck them, chuck them here. Uh, it'd be nice to get some archers and stuff like that through the mercenaries, because obviously that's what my, I plan on doing. Uh, so the Brotherhood of the Forest most likely would be nice. Maybe local thugs would be useless, I feel like. Oh, wow. Oh, please tell me I didn't say yes to that. Hopefully I didn't say yes to those. Uh, no, I didn't. Good. I'm very happy with this. So we have everybody that has reasonably good gear. Like, look, you have just gotten absolutely giga -chatted. You're a master of chess. Fiatera, watch your chess.com rating. And don't lie. Watch your chess.com rating. Is it any good? You're apparently a master of chess. Zero. Ooh, that's tough. That's tough. You don't play chess. Maybe I've selected the wrong person for you then. Maybe you're actually really good at chess and you just don't even know it. Maybe this is your calling. Maybe this is actually your calling. And that you should start playing chess. Who knows? Who knows? So yeah, we were right. Oh, policies available. Pog. Policies. Uh, wild animals and rich deposits breed twice as fast now. Strict fasting. Citizens skip every fifth meal. Reduces food consumption. Decreases approval. Locked in early access. Locked in early access. I don't want any of these. Oh. I clicked on them and it let me click it. Oh, I see. It just thought it was like... I know you clicked that. It's not going to do anything, but uh, here you are, nonetheless. So they're awaiting orders. We're going to go beat them. Kick the snot out of them. We're going to recover our fatigue here. Look at this. The spear militia. I wonder if the spear militia is the best one to craft to begin with. So once they've recovered their fatigue, we'll send them to war. Hopefully we're not going to lose anybody. Because I would love to get... Um, wow, rich deposits. 2,600 2, is insane. I think moving to this area might be uh, might be nice. 
No, I turn that. Like, iron's obviously going to be something I'm going to need a lot of. Oh, what's our fatigue right now? Still taking a wee while to recover. I think if I walk in, like, open terrain, we should technically recover fatigue while we're moving. And we should see that the mercenaries are coming to attack us here. We'll see the brigades uh, moving on over. As long as we have a, a wide formation here, and then we go really aggressive with them, I think we should be okay. So yeah, 16 brigands, I'm fine with that. But yeah, I'm going to go with a wide stance here, as, as wide as we can. Like so. Because in the situation where we're as wide as we can be... Hold on. Uh, cohesion is 17%, so I think by being wide, in a wide formation, the cohesion is really good. So we've got 10 impaling. Um... Missile alert. No, they don't have any ranged. If I'm not mistaken, they have no range rank. Yeah, what's their cohesion? So yeah, since they're moving downhill and things like that, it's helping them. One thing I don't know is if charging is helpful. You'd assume it would be. Have I, have we recovered after stamina? Army power balance. Do you know what? Push forward. Get in there, lads. Go on, boys. Wow, as aggressive as we can make it. We got a 2v2 over here, which I'm not happy with, but we're using our numbers effectively over this side. Some of them are just like trying to isolate them where possible. We're going as hard as we can, hitting them as fast as and, and powerful as we're able to here. You can see that we've got a lot of them attacking on one of them in this side. Their leadership still is full. Our leadership in this situation is full as well. We look, corpses are nearby, so if somebody has died. Yep, it looks like the brigands are dying now. Which, funny enough, is impacting our own leadership here. Because corpses are near. Looks like on this side is where the corpse potentially fell. It did indeed. We can see that we were now dropping them like flies. Going really aggressive with push forward here is, is really helping us out here. Wow, one of them... Oh, I thought you had a big old two-hander, but it doesn't. Right, as long as we keep pushing it back, this three now has died. Oh, wow, they're dropping like crazy now. Fantastic. As long as we start using the advantage here and really push it forward now, boys. That's it. We're now flanking them. Absolute savagery. That's it. Get in there. Be as aggressive as you can be. Nice. Good on you, boys. All right, let's go clear that camp out then. Clear the camp out. Let's make our way home. Big. That's what we're looking for. Problem is, obviously, we've lost a lot of approval doing that, but it is what it is. Um, so our terrain's over here. What's the situation? What's the crack with home? We have plenty of time for the raiders, which is good. Uh, influence is 1.2k now, so we actually can utilize our influence to expand our borders a little bit here. I would actually be half tempted to build over this side. I mean, clay deposit? Maybe not. The only thing good over here is obviously the iron. Because you got to keep in mind what you can do is once you have the relevant amount of construction, you can put a settler's camp. You can put a settler's camp in another area. Um, and I would love to have a rich wild animals like over here, but I don't know if there's anybody... I don't know if there's people here. Oh, there's one over here. Maybe we claim this one from a resource standpoint. Because wild animals, we can probably get quite a lot of uh, useful stuff from that. So I'm very interested to see what kind of plot we gain here. And what we obtain from the bandit camp. New message. Such in the enemy belongs, you find a stash of goods that can be sent to the people who should need them. It's my right to keep it. Belongs to my treasury. 145 plus. That's huge. Okay, that's pretty much paid for the any mercenaries we're going to need for this raid. Which is huge. Let's make our way home. And then what we'll do is make sure that we're um, doing what we can to uh, recover them. I would be intrigued to know... We go to the map here. So we can claim with influence. But I think this is a huge plot of land. I'm assuming this is owned by Hildebolt von Brunetta, whatever it's called. Uh, could be a really good way of making food. Obviously, the only thing is the deposit in question is going to deplete. So maybe it'll get to the point where having this bit over this side would be really nice. There's really rich deposits of 
have stone, excuse me, of clay and iron there. So that might be something I'd be missing out. But I actually have a rich deposit of clay over this side, so it's not... I guess I'm not desperate for it. We zoom in over here now. We're getting the clay furnace on the go. We do have a family here. So we should have a sore house of where we're putting things. Why do we have a helmet in here? Um... in there. We have these slabs in there. I'm hoping that we have... Oh, so we've got 18 shoes. So it looks like we're making a lot of shoes right now. And of course, yeah, it makes sense that the food-wise we're struggling, because obviously it's winter. But they can't really get annoyed at me for that. So we have 125 clay, but oh, do we not have anyone cooking it up? Roof tiles. Yeah, it's roof tiles we're looking for. That's what we want in. And I swear, this clay furnace is supposed to be giving us the roof tiles. Getting fuel supplies. He's the tile maker. Um, show home. Where are you, lad? You're over here. Where is Kunrad? This lazy son of a gun is responsible for the roof tiles. No wonder he's taking ages. He's getting fuel supplies. Hold on. Is that my bad? Because I've said fuel reserves of five. Screw it, I'll put five in there, and maybe he'll uh, he'll stop being useless. How far away is the retinue now? Because they are going for the trees, and they'll be knackered now. So let's make them on balance. So hopefully that doesn't make them consume as much fatigue. Yeah, all of the plots, like the vegetable gardens and whatnot, will, will not function, I don't think. Um, looks like we can upgrade these bad boys. Which I'm not opposed to. Because we've met all the requirements. All the, very, the specific conditions. I think we're in a situation now where we're going to want to expand with the influence we have. Conquering bandit camps and upgrading your churches and manors. So yeah, I think it's the manor that we're making the manor and then doing that was one of the, one of the big factors. I am very hopeful that these spin militia are going to be ready for this. Uh, they're going to be knick knack noodled by the time they get home though, because we can disband them once we're in our home region. Ironically, I wonder if I bought this home region with influence, then could I disband them because I own it? Probably. I feel like it's probably applicable to reclaim the Seal of Influence. I'm actually going to say no because of the raid. I think the raid once the raid happens, then I'll do it. I'm just worried that if I claim this with influence, I'll just get it'll just get completely battered. This is going to January to February. Okay, so that's going towards February. Be mindful of that. Hey, Kanta, it's good to see you, handsome. Hope we're doing well. Uh, the good news is we'll obviously have a rich deposit, so we can absolutely batter the uh, the berry, uh, the forage and stuff, and start moving people accordingly accordingly to what we're needing. Honestly, don't need you anymore. I really need this fuel to be up and running. If the bloomer is doing a bloody fantastic job. I think this is doing an okay job. I think it's making tools, which we don't need just yet. I think helmets and all that kind of stuff over there as well, which is good. So my approval is still low. Hopefully we can improve the approval. The church would be nice to upgrade, but we need um, more roof tiles. Which is a work in progress, my friends. We have three. So it is, it, it is, it is happening. It is actually happening. So we'll uh, experience the raiding together. Uh, is there anything in here that we'd probably want to do? So this would be level 3, which I don't really want to do. But I would love to put something into this... Into the plot. It doesn't seem to let me. It's an armor shop. It's a cobbler shop. 
This is just a plot. Residential, it seems. Get your daily dose of greens. Better export retails and make good money off of it. Yeah, I suppose we could try and trade things. One thing I can't remember is if you need a horse to do so. But right now, I'm, I'm going to want to. I'm going to keep the roof tiles for now because I want to make sure that we're um, we're using the roof tiles to make the church upgrade. Once we've upgraded the church, then by all means. Right, run to your homes, my friends. Return with everything you've got. Beautiful. I'm very happy with the retinue. We could max the retinue out, actually. But then again, I, I don't know if we're going to need mercenaries more than them. Feedy, do you know if it's a better idea to get mercenaries or to get a better retinue? Probably the retinue, right? Because the retinue is, is consistent across the board. But then again, I would love to have... Um... Oh, you can change the uh, armor. I imagine it doesn't do anything. Yeah, it's probably just customization, right? Try to get some archers. Yeah, I'm going to need... Um... Can you buy an archer in your retinue? Probably not, right? Probably not. Be nice to buy locally. Yeah, we'll we'll probably get some archers for this. I actually don't know how much. I'm not sure how much barley we got from that. I don't think it's much point in making tools. I'd rather get folks making making these bad boys. Once we got one more roof tile, which has happened. Boom. Church. Bada bing, bada boom. So let me go off the clay furnace for now. Let's make sure that people are uh, actually doing this. Ooh, probably risky to start building the church or upgrading the church at this point. When the raiders are near. Okay. We'll see. We'll have to wait and see. It was either a really good idea or a really bad idea, that. We got all the planks we need in there because of the saw stuff. So we've got seven months of food left and then ten months of fuel. Um, new mercenary company available. I don't really want to be paying out the wazoo for archers just yet. There's no problem. Oops. I've got bows, so there's no point doing that. Uh, flock of crazy geese. Ah, shoot, this is not ideal. We actually don't have anyone that can be archers just yet. Do we actually have enough people to be within the recruits? It's just, we need weaponry. And shields, right? So this is the armory. So I would need the plot to then become... Ah, oh, maybe I don't have enough excess homes to do that. That could be realistically what it might be. I, th I wonder if it's just war bows you need. Nah, not only losing a vegetable garden is actually kind of detrimental, because well, they're actually really useful. One thing I'm not sure is, why I'm not able to take this plot. Is the plot too small or something? Berries so plump and juicy. You're Do I not have enough room to make the, the garden in? I'm assuming it's not big enough. Is that actually the problem? Step right. Yeah, I really shouldn't have done the church at the time I did. All right, hopefully the mercenaries some archers. I'm not. I can't really afford that. Ah, oh, I'm gonna be really sad not to get archers here though. I can't really justify it, spending 90 on the on those ones. Because it's 90 a month, isn't it? I mean, in fairness, 90 a month is going to take me a while, that. Yeah, we've got neutral approval again. It's just so brutal in the winter. Can you get ones from the militia? Uh, what, of creating new units? No. I don't have any bows. If I had bows, I would go for that. But I would need to swap a plot over to, to then put that in there. Yeah, I'm not sure why I can't put them in there. We have loads of food. Step right up and sample. 
feel like I'm doing something wrong. I mean, one thing I could have done is potentially not demolish. Sorry about that. Is try and import one. I order a livestock. We might be able to import uh, some bows in there, and we can utilize our own troops to be bow to be bowmen. Because I, I I never want to be in a situation where I'm paying monthly for something. I feel like it's just bad practice. We might want to use the Battle Brothers there. But then again, saying that, I recruit the Battle Brothers. I'm going to have to probably recruit these guys as well at the same time, so I might as well get the flock of crazy geese. Not enough stable place. Build more hitch points or upgrade one so stable. Oh, I'm with you because... Wait, did you just take my money and leave? Wait. My dude just scammed me. He brought over the, ho the horse, but since I didn't, I didn't have a room for it, he just legit left. Wait, what do you mean I don't have enough space? There's, there's space here. My brother in Christ, give me my horsey. Right. I don't think I'm personally ready for this raid, but we'll see. I've not experienced a raid just yet, so it'll be interesting. I think I'm gonna get the uh the geese. Oh my god, there's loads of the buggers. Hey, where are they? Oh, there they are! Here the lads are! Oh shoot, they're coming in from miles away! And thank you so much for the follow, matey. Dude, I didn't realize they're coming in from miles away. I, I should have recruited them ages ago. Oh, I'm so in trouble. Depending on where this raid comes in. I guess we'll see where the raid's coming from, right? Surely. How do I get rid of them? I know it sounds really bad, but how easy is it to get rid of them? How easy? I mean, instead of trying to... Do you know what? I'll think like an, a, a, a medieval king, right? If the mercenaries are dead, I don't have to pay them. So by sending them in first... Right? Genius, honestly. If I just send them in first, then I don't have to pay them. So that's like 101 tactics of the medieval era. We've already got it nailed. We'll go far here. We're going to go far. Put in prison for yapping. I would assume they probably would be uh, professional yappers as mercenaries. Flock of crazy geese is such a funny name. You okay? Uh, can you finesse me manlord access? I never heard back. I can certainly try. Uh, I, can, I can certainly try. Alright, let's get over here. Wow, 1% effectiveness. Hopefully we can try and move over. Yeah, because I'm, I'm lucky in that I met um, the publishers in person at the last TwitchCon. Alan? And the guy's an absolute legend. Hey, Puppa's morphing. Hey, Dad. Good to see you, buddy. Uh, Mattery, thanks for the follow, buddy. Oh, shoot. An enemy army's coming, lad. Prayer, enemy is coming. The enemy is upon us. The enemy is coming. Where is it? Where are they coming from? Wait, is this them here? Oh, is this the raid? Oh, then these guys will handle it, then. Wait, this is what I was worried about. Uh, is that what I've been worried about this entire time? Three brigands. Bruh. Let's get them here. Mission complete, raid is near. Yeah, that's not what I was expecting. I was sort of expecting a decent army, but I didn't, need, I didn't even need to recruit these. 100% didn't even recruit them. Uh, 
let me place you here in a, a really wide formation. Grab you guys here. Grab you guys here. Actually, I'm not going to put a wide formation. I'm going to put them in like a medium rotation like that. Because I'm assuming they're going to be moving through this direction. They are. How's the manner going? It's going, it's going good, man. Thanks for asking. MC says, asked this for you. Well, Akoi, have you asked, have you ever spoken to the publishers? You know? Manlord is probably one of the most hyped games, so I suppose you, you gotta hold the hill. Yeah, that's sort of what we're doing. But I'll I'll speak to the guy that I know. See if I can uh, see what I can do. Because Havoc is a legend. He's such a lovely guy. Right. Let us see these archers in action. Shoot at will. Yeah, go on then, lad. So let's see the archers in action here. Wait. I'm curious to see how this goes. Oh, they only have to move up a little bit here. So the first volley coming through. They're taking hits, taking leadership hits. Move through on the flanks. Push forward aggressively here. Push forward aggressively here, reposition. Oh, you already know, son. We got that gamer tactics in us. And then shoot from behind. You already know, son. And now we can play uh, defensively with balanced. Because we've got the archers killing them from behind. Absolute cinema. Absolute cinematography. And uh, price known? Not sure, matey. I can ask. Two million wish lists on uh, everything. Yep. A lot of wish lists for the game. Oh, we actually lost one of the guys in here. That's the first time I've lost somebody in combat. Maybe just push forward. I feel like pushing forward is just the way to do it. Oh, they have shield wall and everything. Huzzah! Right, disband. Thank you, my good boys. So, okay, that was very disappointing. I did not expect it to be that easy. Let's claim this with influence. Oh, it takes time, right, okay. A region has been claimed. It most certainly has. And then we can build the... Um, Oh, we need 250. Damn it. We can't do it there yet. We're going to need a mercenary camp. I guess the next mercenary camp we can do it. Wait, it didn't even cost us that much at all. Right, so we need bows. Hold on. Normal speed. Berries are now growing. We're claiming the land over there. Good. We have ribbed the lands of that filth. So there's a rich deposit. It's growing. So hopefully the berries will be ready soon. Um, we did pay them a reason. We paid them 90 to deal with that. I don't think we needed them at all. I think, honestly, potentially even my own personal retinue. We need archers, though. I think that very much um, made it very clear that we need archers. Yeah, they really did. Just seeing how insanely good archers are was just, yeah. Let's get one person to forge his hut. Um, what's this? We're missing the, we're missing armor, I think, I'm assuming this is. So the people that live here will have, have their will have their equipment in there. So if they're part of my merry bend of men, then they'll have uh things in there. So we've got horses now. So how many um we have 45 roof tiles. God damn. 
Bet crossbows wreck faces. Yeah, probably do want to see mating. So if you trade... Uh, route required. Since it's a major trade, a trade route is required first. Oh, so you need to... Um... Oh, I need to pay for a trade. Don't forget to brace the frame of the door. Route. We don't want it to sag. 48 to pay for the established trade. So exporting is 12 and imports... Wait, 2 and then 12? That's a scam. So maybe that's what we work towards is 48 and then we can start doing... Trading of that? Unless we want to trade something else. Herbs, nah. Malt, no. Slabs, we could do. Firewoods, nah. Dyes, no. Weapons would be nice to actually start importing. 15 a pop, though. So we need to try and figure out a way of first ensuring that we're, um... We've gotten a trade that's profitable for us. I mean, technically here, if I do a trade here, to establish this trade... How... So, we bought this. And we go down to... What? Should we just export to 100? That's f I'm fine with that. If we're getting two a pop there, could be a really good way of getting it. Uh, so you can quickly cycle uh, between your commanded regions by pressing T. Oh, nice. See, so that's... Oh, shoot. Why do we have zero food? Oh, crap. It's because I've built a new area over here. Wait, hold on. Wait, why has everything gone to zero? Oh, thank Christ. Jesus. For a second there, it scared the crap out of me because it was like... You done messed up, boy. Yeah, it's doing it again. Oh, it's because it's the different region. Yeah, it's the different region. That's why. I don't know why I've claimed that land just yet. There's no point because I can't put a settler's camp yet. Set up enough money. Uh, I need another mercenary camp to fight. I don't know if I need to go hunt it, actively hunt for that. Right, so building. Hopefully, once we get the once we get the church up there, we'll be fine. I want, honestly, the, the, the biggest factor now is just ensuring that I'm trading correctly here. So here's the merchant. Here he is. Is he on his way? Wait, is he coming to my lands or what? We've established his trade route, so hopefully he's doing God's work trading. I don't know if we're giving the resources that we need. Saving finish. Oh, surely, is it just specifically this one? So, current surplus, desired surplus. Right, if I'm not mistaken, to me, that means I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sell 58 planks. I'm assuming, is that the same for you guys as well? That in that context, I'm going to be selling that many planks. Oh, shoot, yeah, I think it's working. Unless it's... Unless it's coming from the tax, but I don't think I don't think we'd make the money fa as fast as that. So here's the trading post. So this is the horse specifically that we're trading with. So we don't we have exporting here. Trade rule: sell until the desired surplus is reached. Yeah, I'm fine with that, mating. Do God's work, my friend. Do God's work. Uh, we need the regional wealth over here as well. We have a lot of spare roof tiles we could do. Could be worth getting another trade route, honestly. I honestly don't hate the idea of another trade route. So, to me, trading would have been more critical as early as possible. Yeah, it seems that trading is a very, very important factor. Okay, the church level hopefully is going to help us as well. And regarding the crossbows, like you mentioned... We can make Boyer's Workshop. The finest hides in all the land. The finest hides in all the land. You will not find finer wares anywhere. You'll not find finer wares. I see you. So we can have a horsey or we can have oxes here. So nice, we're getting more people joining, which is huge. Nice, 58, 56 now. Um, 
Wow, I actually can trade these for eight a pop. We have 45 now. But 96! Jesus, when did that... Why is it so expensive now? We got blocks, so clearly we can take the stone and then trade it. Or do something to it. So the advance would be putting um, a very specific horsey here. Oh my god, look at that, 94! Jesus. Oh my god. Trading is definitely something we need to do sooner rather than later. Yeah, we should have been trading way earlier. My goodness. Crazy. Let's set this straight around. Explore it. Like, I can go all the way down to like five if I need to. I've got nothing else to use the roof tiles for. Wow, that has really opened my mind up. That has really opened my eyes out. To build another. Where's this one? Over here? Make that into the higher one. Why do I have to carry this alone? We have two stone and then the tiles as well, so that'll be highest and highest. We've got two families, so they should be able to evenly distribute themselves. Hopefully. Hunting should be okay. Oh yeah, the berries now. We need way more people on the berries. Annoyingly, we've got so many folks doing stuff. It's one of those things where it's so difficult and awkward to to ensure that you're, you know, you're making the you're making sure that you're doing everything that needs to be done. Because I feel like I don't have as many families as I, I was like. Uh, I think we might need to make more plots as well. I might make the the plots in the premium land over here. Hmm. Oh, it is. So, I'm seeing here that you need to make sure that you've got enough area to put both the front and the back of the house in. That's what I'm seeing. Residential. This is heavier than it looks. Build off of this land. I'm sure you do, Lydia. I'm sure you do. Look the finest here. wares in all the land. Berries, berries, bursting with flavor and fit for a king. <laughs> I like that. Bursting with flavor and fit for a king. This is heavy. Never. Perhaps he simply does not know how to cook properly. Hold on. Wait, hold on. Oh, I did not look at the land. Oops. Yeah, I didn't quite realize the land was as steep as that. Coming soon. Soon. Beautiful. Not of goods. Jesus. Where did I sell the timber? Did I sell my... Hold on. No, I'm exporting plants. Have I stopped making timber or something? Oh, I still waiting on the logging camp. No, I don't have anyone in there. Nobody wonder. Nobody wonder. Hold on. From a perspective of what I should be doing right now, let's move. A, let's put another ham, a family in here. So not that side. Let's get. I think it's two a pop. What is too small? Not of goods, hey? Cost is four. Huh. Hold on. Get folks on the logging camp. I swear that... Yeah, we really should be abusing the fact that the foraging is insanely good right now. We need a spare family to build stuff as well. Holy moly. 
There's this cafe in the middle of nowhere to get some coffee. Turns out the gaming cafe, a tattoo parlor, and a Smash Bros. tournament. That just sounds like heaven. That sounds like gaming heaven right there, my friend. Jesus, I have 485 regional wealth. Mate, trading is the way to do it. I'm telling you, boys. Mad bat. Absolutely mad bat. I feel like it's so... Like, I should have been doing this so early on. So, amount of villagers in the region can be used to import or convert to treasure attacks. So, does that mean that I can then go to the army? Retinue. Customize retinue. Is this treasury or is that the... Oh, that's from the treasury. So, what else can I do? And Corrigan, thank you so much for the 32 months, you handsome burger. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, take club. Nice, dude. What can I use this for as well? Or convert it to treasury by tax policy. Ooh, there's tax policies. We old men now? Aye. Trade tax. Ooh, some of them I can't use. Trade tax. Converted regional wealth for every transaction with a traveling merchant. But it seems I can't use that just yet. Uh, I'm going to drop down the food tax. We don't need the influence. We really need to make sure that we're just getting enough food from this. So we're in a problem now. We need more timber. This is heavier than it looks. But we need more food. But we need folks to build. This is an elf basket, my dudes. Alright. Get one person to clay fill them. These guys can build. Poor quality, he said. Impossible. Come one, come all. Feast your eyes on our fine selection. Perhaps it was oh, man. a bad bet. Uh, is this Thrones of Decay to a salad? Yes. Kappa. Yo, yeah, Jakey. This game looks a vibe. The game is 100% a vibe, my friend. Uh, they've done a fantastic job with it. I'm uh, I'm very, very impressed with it. One thing I need to learn more is just how to min-max a wee bit. Oh, nice. We actually have the administrative buildings, uh, administrative buildings now. No population grows because everything's occupied, yeah. I'd be intrigued to see how quickly I could then try and snowball as fast as possible. Mine will look this when the game launches. Oh, mate, my, my village is not neat at all. I feel like... It's the scramblings of a madman, is what mine feels like. Edges Manolod schools. I probably will play Manolod until Throne of Decay. Hmm. I need to figure out the best ways of doing this. Come one, come all. Feast your eyes. So I wonder when, like, selection. grand scale combat is going to happen. Anywhere else. What's the most expensive thing here? We have a blacksmith, don't we? No, we have an armorer. I think the carrots and stuff will help from a food variety perspective. Yeah, the vegetables and eggs and stuff. You can also get apples and honey. Gave the old ox a hand for the I think, I'm assuming I didn't make a big enough plot here. Time. Yeah, because you can, I can have it here. Plot is too low level, yeah. Play lawns on launch, or wait until full release? It's a good question, matey. Let's bring you guys out and berries, start building. Berries, berries, 
I think the guy that's making it is definitely a bit of a perfectionist, which is nice. You know, he spent seven years developing this. How do I expand this? One for Thrones? Yeah, everything for Thrones looks so good so far. I might do a cheeky stream about going through all the new stuff, because I haven't done that yet. I haven't gone through all the new stuff and shown it. Slash explained my thoughts of the new Thrones of the Game units and whatnot. Yeah, I'm slightly worried about the food situation. Can't really do much with this area of land because I need more money. Can't get it from tax. Oh, can use it for diplomacy. Maybe I can do it for diplomacy then. We have no rightful claim. I need, I need, uh... Screw it, I'm just gonna send in the letter. You got no claim, lad. Just throw shade out there for no reason. Just because I can. You know? Why not, eh? Hey, WPG. Uh, how'd you get it? I got early access through uh, the publishers. Put it force. Yeah, there's definitely a few things I need to learn how to do. I think trading is OP as hell. I was like bottled gated. I was like bottlenecked by regional wealth so much early game. I think the, the problem I've had is I've made my slots too small. Learning it's the weekend. Oh, every day is a school day, my friend. Every day is a school day. Every day is a school day. Okay, we've got more timber now, at least. <laughs> and I started a new job recently as well, so even more so. Every day is a, is a goddamn school day. How are the plots? I'd rather do do this. Yeah, rather that. We need to make sure we're getting this in there. Yeah, the dwarf is the anything dowy. You know, you know, I love it. Have the new gig is going well. Yeah, thanks, man. Yeah, it's it's decent. It's decent. I can't complain. It's definitely a, a different environment than I'm used to. I'm in more of a, I'm in a much more senior role than I'm used to. But so far, so good. Hopefully, we're going to get more families because now, hopefully, we're going to have more small, more places for them. I would love to learn how to change the region wealth because I'm getting a lot of money randomly. Wait. Oh, I can actually import stuff as well. I forget about that. How much is it to import? Uh, I could just import um, weaponry, couldn't I? Warbirds, yeah. So that was a trade route. No trade. Import. Um, how many do we need? How many can we afford? We can afford 30, right? Let's get 30. How many is it in a retinue? Is it 32? Is it 32 in a retinue? Thirty-six. Okay. Probably worth doing at least. I'm gonna be intrigued to see how well I can actually start murdering stuff. Uh, so let's make that for 36 on the weaponry. Import price seems reasonable. So I, I don't think it's actually the horse. Oh, come bandit sight. Perfect. Where is it? Oh, beautiful. It's really close by as well. All right, boys, it's time. Boom. Rally the units. Boom. Rally these lads as well. Oh, these are the boys right here. The retinue. This is the best of the best. We all know what that means, don't we? 
the best my village has to offer. Then I see... Should be able to see fate, right? Right. Yeah, these guys look absolutely sick. Wait, they look a lot less geared than they did in Thingy. Some of them are really geared. Right, this, these, are gonna, these are gonna be the uh, the ones that tank. I'm assuming the retinue is gonna be a lot slower. Probably would be a good idea if I could go towards like open areas because then I'd use less fatigue. Yeah, you can. These guys are gonna get absolutely battered. I'm probably gonna make the retinue somebody that can actually flank around. I would imagine. I probably want to be a bit more. I guess reserved is probably the best way of saying it. I really need more. Hold on. Do you know what? Screw it. Do that. Construction. All the way to this road. All the way over here. Two steep paths. Yeah, why don't I just build on this over here? That's that there. Hold on, let me just see. I'm just figuring out where the best place to put some more houses are. Probably over here, you know. Nearby this pitch of land. And then probably split it in down the middle. Connect it to the tree. Grab this. Connect. Connect. Am I fighting over here? Oh crap, I'm fighting. My retinue's fighting right now. Oh shit. Oh my god, my lads were fighting. I didn't even realize. They're at 1% effectiveness and they're still kicking ass. Oh my god, I didn't even realize they were fighting. They're that badass, they didn't even lose anybody. When the chaps in the village rolling the kettle helms and holding pipes and this shit's going down, true. That was huge. Okay, I'm getting more of those boys. We're going to increase the retinue. Because god damn, those boys just did work. Those dude, These guys are insane. Oh, we can make them spread out. Everything. Well, let's run. I think in this terrain, can we disband you? Wait, this should be my terrain, shouldn't it? Yeah. Go back home. Grab the bandit camp. What do we need the 250? Oh, yeah, we need another... If we can get another 100 from here, we can make another village over in the other area. Which would be huge. Big. We did. Right, construction. Administration. Settlers camp. Over here. Um... Low key, it's kind of fat, but in here. Uh, farming village, interesting. Okay. Right. Treasure change minus 250. I don't know, how do I. Okay, so you got unassigned here, so construction. What we want to do is we want to build houses soon. Um, so we can build up the road, actually. So I'll probably build the houses first. So we have the timber to do it. Let me see if residential... Got clay there. So as long as I make them big enough. That's too much. Not good. Do you know what? They can be homeless for a little bit. Like, let's not be uh, let's not be uh, let's not be picky here, lads. Come on, do you know what I mean? We can't afford to be picky, so we'll probably want to storage. So first and foremost, we want to make sure that we're actually getting the wood going, not the marketplace, which we will have to do. We can we can sort things out. This is almost like having a new place again. Uh, logging camp, big. So let's chuck the logging camp down there. Let's get that done ASAP. Yo, Agent, how are we doing, handsome? Chuck My that Lord down. Logging Battle camp. Chief. 
How you doing well, Agent? How have you been joining it yourself, man? How have you been finding this game? So checking a logging camp down. Honestly, I'm gonna go straight into hunting so we can fix food straight away. Mate, that's, that's what you call a work-life balance right there. The hunter's camp is so close to it. And then we need fuel as well, so let's ensure we've got the firewood going at the same time. We do have five families here. So they're unassigned. Let's get them going. How have we been? I've been alright, man. I've been uh, pretty unwell than starting a new, new job and things like that, but been a busy bee, but uh, hopefully I'm starting to, uh, to equalize, you know. I'm starting to uh, be better with dealing with everything. I definitely think this would probably be alright. So damage by weather. That's really unfortunate because we only have so much firewood and whatnot and food. We have no consumption of fuel, which is nice. Logging camp's getting up there. Hunting camp's getting up there. Once we've got the logging camp and the hunting camp going, we'll get the uh, get the, the wood going. Agent, are you going to um, TwitchCon? What, what just happened? Running out of food. Ah, you're all right. We're all right. No need to panic. One month. Should be fine. As long as the construction camp gets created straight away and we're uh, getting the food. I actually think the. Um, wait, hold on. What does hold on? Oh, great old workers' camp. Provide crude living spaces for five families. Interesting. Maybe one in the list? Yeah, that's fair play. Is this the smartest thing to do? Just upgrade this? To stop them from being annoyed about being homeless? But the main thing is the food. So over here, let me have a look. What we're we missing. So food is something we need. We've got a lot of appraisal and happiness, which is nice to see. What is this one we need to be doing it on? Expand you. Uh, let's get more people in the uh, forestry, honestly. And the hunting camp. Uh, let's go ahead and care a little bit less about the trees, not all night. Church is all good. We've still got the roof tile uh, trade agreement going, so happy with that. So we actually have five regional wealth now, uh, which means we should be able to actually create a retinue of archers. 25 now. Big. Huge. So I, I think we've kind of cracked the code now. I think I've cracked the code. One of the most important factors, it feels like, is ensuring that you have sustainability with whatever resource you can make. Once you've got sustainability with that resource, then you can start branching out trading. Once you branch out trading, you can then uh, just purchase whatever your weakness is within your composition or within your village specifically. So that method, whether it be from a military perspective, you can start getting what you need. Or whether it be from a getting ale or tavernry or anything you can desire. I think this is definitely the downsides of what I was doing. I wasn't correctly utilizing trading early. Because I'm basically trading all the planks. I'm trading all the roof tiles. So we're going to have a consistent amount of income coming through here. Military. Yeah, we need another eight until that's finished. Uh, so we're getting more food stalls there as well. So they'll be happier as part of that. So we do need... Oh, shoot. I forgot about all the pantries and things like that we need. Uh, so we need exposed goods, exposed goods. Yeah, we need pantries and all that kind of stuff. God, what are these guys doing? There's five families. What are we doing, lads? Where are they all? Come on, laddie. Come along. So Kunrad is trolling. And then we'll need Come the... On, Come on. Granary. We'll get that down in a second, but we need to make sure that we've got a place for them to, to put stuff. Oh, we need water as well, actually. Where's the water? Okay, water's here. Boom, chuck some water down. Come on, laddie, come on. Storehouse. Let's chuck a storehouse right next to that. 
and the granary on the other side. Oh, we actually don't have s we don't have enough. Come on, laddie, come along. So that should be what we need. We were upgrading the homeless, on, uh, what we call it. I'm actually kind of struggling to see where it is because there's so many goddamn trees. But as part of being in this area, it won't it won't take very long. Uh, the workers camp. Um, yeah, there's a lot for these five families to do. In fairness, we have given a lot of responsibility over to those five families. So we should be absolutely rinsing the berries in the wild animals here, which we should be, as we need to be focusing on food where possible. Too many trees, no such thing. It is honestly one of those interesting things where games like Rust and Minecraft make you realize that like wood is just such a valuable resource because you use so much wood in general. Like I think people underestimate the amount of wood you typically will use. Family members join one of the settlements. This is the workers camp, eh? Has somebody moved over here? Surely not. Right, nice. We've got the, the hunting camp, the workers camp, big. And now we need to make sure that we're getting the um, the rest of it built. We made a storehouse, didn't we? Yeah. So we need a... Granary? Workers collect, store, and distribute goods. Let's get someone into the logging camp. Let's get that going. Uh, let me go media. Let me go very high on the storage house because that means then whoever gets stuff from the logs can put them straight to the storehouse. So construction, hunting as well. We can go there. Now we can get our we'll get the families actually being busy. Uh, the woodcutters lodge as well. We can get somebody in there. So woodcutting, logging, hunting. Perfect. Especially since we have a rich deposit, it means we'll get a lot more. So that means we do need to be moving moving these food over. Ah, oh, shoot! We only have we have very limited food now. Probably need to get another person into the storehouse then. Uh, but we can't put food there. So we need to, we actually need uh, the granary. Not enough goods. We have two timber here. Is it dedicated to something else? Yeah, so hopefully the hunting is going to be fruitful here because right now we need uh, some timber, which we've just obtained. I'm hopeful that we'll sustain the food now. As my worry is the family is going to be like, we're starving. Uh, screw this guy, I'm leaving. So hopefully not. It's, I, I quite like that they're very separate civilizations instead of bound together. I think that's probably, I think that's a really good way of doing it. So yeah, these guys will want a market area, which is something we'll want to build, but I just wanted to make sure you guys didn't starve first. You know what I mean? Sorry for not wanting you guys to starve. Let's go to the next one. Okay. The trees are happening, market stall as well. Construction. We have one family re uh, relevant to that. To Marketplace. Doesn't need to be big. Little stall location nine not be sufficient for a long time. I can assure you, that ain't gonna be used in a long time, in any time soon. Firewood. Yep. Nice. Make traders to supply other towns with uh, with the stuff they miss. Absolutely. Yeah, the game's really good like that. The game's really sick like that. Boom. Right, folks. Unfortunately, where our time is up, we've been feeling unwell, so I do apologize. Thank you everyone for watching. Much love to you guys. You guys are the best. And 